Hey guys, it's Deja, the Princess of Variety, and I am back with a new Let's Play. So we're going to be playing Life is Strange Before the Storm, and you guys know how I played Life is Strange on my channel. Um, and basically this is a prequel to that game. So if you haven't watched my Life is Strange Let's Play on my channel, I will link it down below. Um, so you guys can go watch it. I highly recommend watching it. That way you can see my relationship with the characters and see the choices that I chose in the game. Um, or, I mean, I guess you could watch this one first since it is a prequel. But I'm definitely going to be spoiling some of what happened in Life is Strange. So maybe that's not the best choice. But if you want to do that, you can. Um, but yeah, I played Life is Strange. I absolutely loved it. And um, I just want to give you guys a heads up, what, if you do go watch that Let's Play on my channel, it is kind of slow in the beginning just because I was doing the most because I like to have a really immersive experience when I'm playing a game. Even if I'm playing it on my channel, I like to read everything and I just like to explore everything, which a lot of people don't do for Let's Plays because they, they like to edit a lot out so the video isn't as long, but I mean, I'm going to stay true to myself when I play these games because I don't want to miss anything. So Life is Strange Before the Storm, as I said, it's a prequel to Life is Strange. So basically you're going to be, or we're going to be exploring Chloe and Rachel's relationship and kind of what happened between them and everything before Max came back to Arcadia Bay. So we're gonna to get to see how Chloe was before Max came back what led up to her being how she was in Life is Strange. She was very impulsive, very impatient. She, you could just tell she had been through a lot. So this game kind of depicts all of that and shows you why Chloe was the way she was in Life is Strange. And um, it's gonna be really cool seeing how Rachel is because unfortunately we didn't get to meet her in Life is Strange. Um, and you guys know why. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be really interesting playing this. And I pre-ordered the deluxe version of this game. This game came out last year. So I've had this game for over a year now, and I still have not played it until now because I've been holding off on playing it because I wanted to play it on my channel with you guys. So yeah, I've had this game for a while. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely going to do face cam next for the next part i'm not doing it th for this part just because i've been having some technical difficulties and stuff and i want to um make sure everything is like good before i do face cam so um this time we're not doing face cam i'm sorry guys but um definitely next time so um let's get into this video i want the video to be like between 20 and 30 minutes. I don't want to do like hour episodes. I it's I'm not going to do that because I'm I'm just not going to. I'm I'm going to split it into sections. So, let's get into this. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Here we go. Why is there an Illuminati triangle and I right here? I'm very skeptical right now, but I'm just going to pretend like we don't see that. Life is Strange Before the Storm is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of your actions and decisions will impact the world around you. Choose wisely. Oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, guys, Chloe is voiced by a different actor, like a different voice actor in this game, which I'm actually really salty about because I love Ashley Birch. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of salty about that, but whatever. I'll pretend like her voice is the same. What the hell are you doing, girl? Move! Somebody has not changed a bit, except for the hair. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. 
Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. All right, this girl doesn't doesn't sound that different from um wait, I forgot how to play this shit. Um <laughs> okay. This game still traumatizes me a little bit. Even though I love Life is Strange, I mean, it's I don't know. And then this one I heard is different because she like Chloe doesn't have power, so no trespassing. No way. Um, so yeah, when, I mean, our choices aren't going to affect, I mean, they're going to change things and affect things, but it's not going to be in the way it did in Life is Strange with Max, because Chloe can't rewind time, so if we do something effed up, then it's like, we're kind of screwed, I guess. They changed the controls. That's not what I used to do. Yeah, she hasn't changed at all. Holy shit. Ew. Yeah, her voice is a little different. I think I need to turn the game down a little bit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Hold shift to move faster. The controls, am I like tripping or is it is something different? Let's talk to these people. Argument. Those guys need to get a room. Dang. Or not. Oh, Jesus. Damn. Mind your own business. I didn't even say anything. <laughs> like, what? I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again. I swear. You can trust me. I promise. That's tough. Really All right. Good. Let's explore the area because you guys know how they have stuff all over the ground and stuff why did they change the controls what the heck if i owed somebody a thousand dollars i'd be shitting my pants girl you owe people a lot of money and life is strange but we're not going to talk about that yet interesting uh, hmm. <laughs> I don't want to take too long exploring the area, but I just don't like missing anything. I noticed that I missed a lot of different things in Life is Strange because I was like, oh, this is a let's play. Like, I have to do everything fast, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, I'm not doing that. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. All right, let's look at this. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Why did they change the controls? new dialogue okay so i guess i can mention that bike but yeah because like you used to be able to click on stuff and then you would move the mouse up down now you click like w a s or d like i don't want to do that what is this i'd join a motorcycle gang if i had any friends so has she not met rachel yet wait a minute is this frank's dog this place has collected a lot of junk over the years Oh, there's not a dog in there, I guess. Um, uh, let's, I guess let's listen or look. First. A second door inside. So close and yet so far. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. I really wish she had the same voice, but... It's not as different as I thought it was going to be, so that's good, I guess. Alright, let's head over here to the bouncer, or whoever this dude is. Yeah. This guy. Let's look at him. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Boy, don't be acting like you don't see me. Help you, miss. You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. <laughs> Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? I mean, haven't I looked at everything? Some say the world will end in fire. Probably. 
Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. This place is sketchy as hell. An old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere, miles from home. Then why are you here? <laughs> home. Right. Now I remember why I'm here. Oh. Never Any mind. place is better than home. Alright, so we need to figure out what to do to get in here. Um what is this? I guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Um uh, ma, 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 ma. I mean it doesn't seem to be much. Ooh, I can graffiti ah, this. Perfect place for me to work. Alright, let's do it then. Just remember we can't now rewind if draw. something goes wrong. Ooh. I can draw what I want. Let's do not a meth lab. Isn't this Frank's RV or am I tripping? Because. Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh. So you have a journal too, huh? Ew. The principal. Oh, yeah. That's going to be cool because we're going to get to see. Oh, look at Max. We're going to get to see um, what led Chloe to getting expelled from school. I want to read everything, guys. I want to read everything. How many pages is this? There's probably so many. Oh, it's not that many. What's the first page? Three, five, ten. Okay. Let's just read this really fast. Dear Max, Dad got me this stationary one. What? Dad got me this stationary one day. Oh, <laughs> when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say because we haven't talked in three months despite all my calls and texts and not that I'm upset or anything. F word. <laughs> There's no way I'm sending this, is there? Chloe, the unfriended. I mean, you guys know that I kind of, you know, curse when I do less play sometimes. I don't, I'm not big on cursing in my YouTube videos, but, um, you know, I make an exception for this game. So sometimes I might drop that F-bomb. Um, now this is more like it. Here I can write to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write me back. Maybe one day when you return home and apologizing for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show this to you and we can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend pen pal. Time will tell. Chloe, the journal boss, put your thoughts in me. Yeah, because remember Max wasn't responding to anything Chloe was sending her when Chloe, uh, when Max moved away. So, um, ready? So, mom suggests taking a road trip next summer, and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about dad being there. Yes, that David, the wannabe drill surgeon who sergeant who sw swooped in on mom and has stuck around like a bad zit. David, the mustache monster from Planet Dipshit. That effing David. Anyway, I politely suggested to mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then, or breathing. Hey, shit happens. As you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues and I've got serious self-emulation. Look it up, nerd. Plans. She can do better. That's all I meant. But she didn't want to hear it like I'm the asshole. Chloe the asshole. Oh, David. David Madsen. Okay. So you know how I stopped going to class so much, like you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story, I had trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't, I just didn't show up. And it was fine, nobody said anything to me. Crazy, right? It's like I'm invincible all of a sudden. Maybe that's the perk of being the dead dad girl. No one knows what to do with me, and they're actually relieved when I stay home. Oh, so her dad, William, is already dead in this part. That's sad. Wish I'd figure this out sooner. Wish I'd figured this out sooner. Think of all the wasted school time. P.S. Pris from Blade Runner popped into my head last time I rubbed one. I mean, at first I was thinking about Deckard and that smolder of his, but then Pris just totally showed, stole the show. Probably nothing there. Think I just want her bangs. Chloe the electric sheep. 
um, what? Um, okay, so Max is not responding. Wait, I want to go back to the other stuff. So what is this? My name is Chloe Price, but you can call me. I am an inmate at, but you can call me, oh, this. Okay, cool. I am an inmate at Blackwell Academy, currently serving a four-year sentence for crimes against maternity. That would be my mom, Joyce, who seems endlessly disappointed in me, which I get it. I'm no one's image of a perfect daughter or student or anything, really, but who the F wants to be perfect? I'm surrounded all day by so-called perfection, and it sucks ass. Other things that suck, my mom's new drill sergeant boyfriend, David. How hard is it to buy weed around here, having no friends, hypocrites, country music, people who say chillax, dad being dead? It's been two years since he died in a car crash, and I still think about him all the time. I've even been having these weirdly lifelike dreams. Sometimes I think he's trying to tell me something. Other times I remember that he's feeding worms in a ditch right now. Dang, that is so, oh my gosh, that's so like harsh and like. I don't even know like damn girl and anything else just a fairy tale to make myself feel better at least i have two weapons to help me survive the shit burg town the pen i use to tag any and everything i want in my shining personality if i work at it maybe i can leave this place just a little less perfect than when i found it so has she not yet met rachel that's what it seems like it seems like max has moved away but she hasn't met rachel just yet because remember in life is strange Chloe talked about how Max wasn't responding to her and all that stuff. And then she met Rachel and Rachel changed her world. And oh my God. So I guess we'll see. Um, despite my mom's best efforts, I don't actually hate her. I know shit's been rough since dad died. Money's tight. Her job as a waitress at a diner isn't exactly glamorous. And I'm clearly not all about the whole going to school thing. Um... But why does she have to make things so much harder on the both of us? She acts like if I smoke pot or when I skip out to go catch an awesome show is somehow a personal attack on her. She should be happy that I'm self-medicating and not going postal on everyone. She never used to be this way when dad was around. She could actually be cool. But lately, there's a hairy dick monster she let into the house that's effing everything up. David Madsen, a jobless, brainless, dickless little shit with a hard on for the military and a promise to whip me into shape. Asshole. I've tried to express these concerns to my mom, yet every week it seems the virus spreads to yet another corner of her life. I'm starting to worry that the David flu is the kind of disease that kills his host. Okay, so we're getting to, oh, I see. So we already read, I guess, okay, cool. I thought we were still on Chloe. Okay, cool, so now we can read about Max. Max Caulfield, MIA ex-best friend, extraordinaire. This artsy mother, ever loves photography more than life itself and definitely more than me she even uses old instant cameras it's probably not healthy for anyone to be that stuck in the past but who am i to tell people how to live their lives when we were kids we would dress up like pirates and eat ice cream and write and draw these stupid comic books where we had powers and saved people and shit then my dad died and and her dad got some job up north and she moved away to seattle it was probably the moment when i needed her most and she bailed Thanks, Max, for teaching me that I can't rely on anyone. I mean it. Life lesson learned. The worst part is that even though we haven't spoken in months, even though she habitually ignore, ignored my texts so much that I just stopped trying, even though I know deep down that she doesn't care about me anymore and that she probably has all new friends up in effing Seattle, I still miss her. If she came back tomorrow and said, hey, Chloe, want to dress up like pirates and be stupid together, I would take her back in a heartbeat. Girl... Don't be so upset she saved your life when Nathan was trying to kill you in the bathroom. So, um, if I had a nickel bag for every jerk off guidance counselor or therapist who tried to get me to write shit about my dad over the last couple years, I would never have to buy weed from F Frank again. Oh, yeah, I remember she buys weed from Frank. Okay, uh, what's the matter? Don't you want to write your dear old dad? I guess they think it helps me cope with my feelings or whatever, as if a few paragraphs about how great dad was could help me forget that his guts are probably still plastered to the underside of a semi, I'm assuming that says truck. I have something on my screen and the, hold on, let me see. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Um, and what the F am I supposed to write anyway? That he was a perfect dad who always, who was always fun to be around and never angry, that he treated me like an equal, that he was constantly working to make our lives better, that he could always make me laugh even when I was being a B word, that he sang in the shower and hated hypocrisy and that his barbecue grill is still rusting in the backyard because he thought of either throwing it away or ever 
because the thought of either throwing it away or ever using it again are both so painful that it's easier for mom and me to just pretend neither of us notices it. If that's coping, then coping can go F itself. Oh, this is, this is some deep ish. Okay. Um, let's see. You got some text messages. Will you be joining us for supper, darling? No, thanks. Will you be coming home at some point tonight? No, no, ma'am. I'm not. Okay, let's go back. Who is this? Um, Spanish test sucked. Lucky if I passed. Aw, lo siento. No, I think I did okay. It's cool. What you up to? Not much. Got shit to do later. Oh, okay. So who is he? Is he supposed to be like Chloe's Warren? <laughs> like who? who is he? Frank. We know who this guy is. Um... Your shit's here. Hell yeah, but tapped out. Sorry, you're lost. Hey, you can hold it for me a day. Can I? I'm your favorite customer. Are you? Frank, you holding? You still owe. You gonna have me whacked? Yes, please joke about that over text. Um, you do drugs on this phone. Anyway, come on. It's 420. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, this is in 2010. I just noticed that. Okay. I'll meet you if you have the cash. Uh, rain check. Okay. And Max. Person that never responds. So sorry, I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Oh, this was in 2009. Dang, Max, you done been really ignoring her. God, yeah, sorry again. I've been really busy. You left Seattle. More in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey, hippie. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should set up a time to call. No worries. I'll check my dance card. It's 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. What is it? 2019 in Seattle? I know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Yo, queen of the crickets. What's the latest, Max? Yeah, wow. Max really is ignoring her. That's not cool. No wonder she was so mad at Max when she came back. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. <sighs> okay. How are we going to get into this? And I know, I know I'm probably past 25 minutes already, but... You know, I, I don't want it to just be this part is just me reading, you know? I don't know how to get in here though. Like what bedding stuff? Didn't I look at this already? If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. What am I supposed to do? There's nothing. There's nothing around here. I mean, I guess I could go back and like be rude to him or something. I don't know what to do. Machinery. Did I look at this? That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. There's nothing around here. Can I go into this RV? Seriously, though. Who drives an RV to a firewalk show? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's Frank's, unless I'm, I'm wrong, but... Isn't he the only person around here that has an RV? I don't know how to get in here. Like, there's nothing around here to use unless I'm... Maybe I'm missing something. Can these guys help me? Do you? She could probably avoid getting on that guy's shit list. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What is this? It's an old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Okay, the place is old. We get it. Ooh, can I sneak past him? Oh, I guess not. Keep walking, kid. Okay, I'm gonna say something to him. He's annoying me. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. There has to be. Keep walking, kid. Leave me alone. I wasn't even trying to go in. There has to be something around here that I could like distract him with or. I'd like to think I know this game well enough, even though this is like different from Life is Strange kind of, but I'd like to think that I know this game well enough to know that there has to be something around here that I can use to like distract him or something of that nature. Unless I'm really supposed to just go back up to him and like argue with him about getting in, but like, I mean, I don't, I don't see anything around here that I can use to distract him, so what what am I supposed to do? Like 
Is there something I'm missing? Or am I just supposed to like risk it all? And Cause I, do you guys see anything? Am I missing something? Like, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm looking high, I'm looking low. I mean, I know it said something about this bike. Like, I, it said that it gave me some extra dialogue or something, but there's nothing around here to use. I'm going to speak to him, and I'm going to say, hey, let me in, because there's nothing else around here that's going to let me in or distract him. So, hello. God, again? What do you want, kid? Hmm, let me inside now. The mill, your bike, walk away. Let's say your bike. Since that thing came up that said something about dialogue, blah, blah, blah. So let's try that. Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? Now let me in, asshole. Okay. This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. Um, I don't want to go. Let me inside now. You started a backtalk challenge. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. She looks scary. What the hell? In backtalk, you use arguments and insults to get someone to do what you want. Oh, so this is this is Chloe's power. <laughs> Using backtalk, she can't just rewind or anything. Okay. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Oh. Isn't it There's a whole bedtime? meter, a, me a whole meter, and everything. To succeed, pay attention to what your opponent says. Okay. So he said, "Isn't it past my bedtime?" Um, do me a solid no bedtime your bedtime oh if I say your bedtime I feel like he's gonna try to fight me I'm just gonna play it cool and say I don't have a bedtime dude I don't sleep it's for the week <laughs> real cute but I still don't know you again listen to your opponent's words okay I'm very attentive so I, I'm paying attention Cute is relative. I don't do cute. Let's do that. Oh, there's a timer? Oh my god, oh my goodness. Okay. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Sometimes the right choices are more difficult to pick out. Here, playground is a good response to kid. Oh, now you guys are getting real, real Maybe hard and kids. difficult. Because this place looks like a this damn game. playground to me. A girl like you, I can't protect you in there. <laughs> flowers on your bike. <laughs> a girl like I'm you, with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle, shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan. <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Is your boss your mom? Follow up. Do you live in your boss's basement? You You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're alright, kid. Go on in. 
Wow, so it seems like your conversations are a little bit more important in this game. Like, I feel like in Life is Strange, yeah, you could say little things here or there, but the ones that really mattered were the ones where the, where the screen, like, froze and the choices got really big. They were in all caps. Like, this I feel like those were the intense. ones that mattered the most. Oh, shit. Hey, Delia, come. You dog. Can I pause it here? Okay, I'm going to pause it here, guys, because I think it just saved because I actually got into the place. So we're going to stop it here. I'm sorry if this part was kind of boring for you. But like I said, I like to be very immersive and really um, get into the games that I'm playing on here. Um, kind of like I did with Life is Strange. Like I want to read everything. I want to see like the little updates. I want to read Chloe's text messages and her journal and all of that. So I'm sorry if this wasn't as interesting for you, but at least now you know kind of a bit about the characters and kind of the time frame of this game if you are familiar with Life is Strange. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to play this. I'm so excited. I love Chloe so much. That's why she is on my cover photo on, on my channel. She's one of my faves. So Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I really want to know what you guys think about this first part. So please comment about that because some of you guys comment, but you don't say anything about the video. You say something about other things. I want to hear what you guys think about the video. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.